Hi and welcome students. Today's video is going to cover computer fundamentals and I'm going to be talking about hardware. Specifically anything that you can see or touch inside of your computer. And so we're going to look at what's actually inside of the computer case here. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to see inside of your computer case is what's called the motherboard. The motherboard is the main circuit board inside of your computer and it's basically a thin green plate. This plate contains the CPU which is the central processing unit or your processor, the memory, which is uh, your RAM or random access memory, and also the connectors for the hard drive and the ports on your computer. So anything that you might find uh, that you connect to on the outside, it connects on the inside to this motherboard. And so we're going to talk about some of these things right now. The first thing I want to talk about is the CPU. This is called the central processing unit. Okay, and so anytime you buy a computer, it'll say processor, and it'll be talking about this CPU chip right here. Now, it's only a two inch ceramic square and it connects right into the motherboard. Uh, this is what's known as the, the brain of the computer, all right? And it carries out the commands in either uh, millions of instructions per second or billions of instructions per second. And this is known as the speed and it's measured in megahertz for millions and gigahertz for billions. So anytime that you are buying a computer, you're gonna to wanna to look at the processor and, pro and uh, the processor speed to see how fast your computer is actually going to go. Now keep in mind there are other things that affect the computer speed, but the processor is a good starting point to look at. The next thing you're going to want to look at is your RAM or your random access memory. Now your random access memory is your short term memory on the computer. So this is anytime you open up a web browser or open up any other application on a computer, it's going to access your short term memory. Now this memory disappears when the computer is turned off, so it's not made for storing anything long term. It's measured in megabytes or gigabytes and pretty much the rule of thumb is the more RAM you have, the more things your computer can do at the same time. So at once it can do more things if you have more RAM. So when you're buying a computer, you're definitely going to want to look at how much RAM uh, your computer is going to have on it. Next and last, what I want to talk about is the hard drive. The hard drive is your long-term storage. So this is uh, the data that gets saved even after turning your computer off. So if you're using a Windows operating system, you may have noticed that in your file explorer, you'll see a place that says this PC. And then if you look there, it'll be what's known as the C drive, which is usually designated for your hard drive. Uh, your hard drive will have a, a certain amount of space on it. And every time you save a file to that C drive, whether it's in your documents folder or anywhere else on that C drive, it's going to save a copy of that file whether you turn off your computer or unplug your computer. Now, when you open back up your computer, let's say that you saved a Word file and you go back in and you open up that Word file. What the uh, hard drive does is it allows you to open up uh, that file and then from there the RAM takes over. The RAM uh, works while you are in that file and it basically uh, saves again in short term and then if you want to actually overwrite that file that's why again we have to save the file again at the end. You save it back to the hard drive. Okay so uh, when you save the file the data is copied back to the hard drive and there you go. Now it takes up uh, more space assuming you made more changes to the, uh, to the file and it'll save it for the the long term. So that's just a couple things that you're going to see inside of your computer case. There's also things like network cards, expansion cards, uh, video cards, and uh, audio cards as well. Uh, but again, in, inside the computer, those are the main three, three things that you need to pay attention to, especially if you're buying a computer. So I hope this video has helped you out. Uh, if it has, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. And uh, if you have any questions, put it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.